This year is shaping up to be the year of the AI website builder. I've tested a few of these products, but so far none of them have produced an AI website for WordPress. They've all been standalone. So when the team behind UI Brain X got in touch, I was really intrigued to test it out. And here we, here we go. I've set up my accounts, but this is going to be the first time I'm using it. So let's see how far we get. So if we say add new project, uh, let's say we're going to do a roofing company. So the first thing you have to choose, do you want to use a pre-built template or a blank page? So let's say pre-built template just to check them out. So we've got one, two, three. So there's a few there. There's not there's not loads, but there's a few. It's enough to get you started. Uh, don't see anything to do with roofing specifically so let's try it on its own but you can see we've got resorts coffee shop real estate so let's go back and say blank page so now this is loading this looks to be a similar kind of layout to other platforms i've used whereas in the central section here we've got the preview and we've got uh, the message section down here you can see i have 80 prompts and the plan I've been given, which I'll link to down below, be an affiliate link, gets you 80 prompts per month. So they renew. And then at the top here, we've got some code. So let's have a little think. What are these buttons down here? So this is going to be for editing. We can upload an image, uh, insert color palette, insert font. OK, so let's start by finding an example. So I found this roofing specialist. So it's a pretty nice website, just red is the main color scheme, lots of good information. So let's paste this into here. So I don't need to clone this exactly, I'm just using this as an example. So if I press enter, let's see what it comes up with. So just pressing enter on that URL has used one prompt. So let's see how far we can get. So I'm not looking to clone this website. If you're looking to clone an existing website, maybe you're taking over someone's site and you're hosting it low cost or whatever, um, it looks like they can actually have a separate product for that that will clone it. So here we go. It's now looked at the website and it's gone. I'll create a responsive roofing company website homepage with Tailwind. This will include key sections like hero banner services and contact information. So it looks like it's taken the name of the company whose website this is, but as you can see, as I'm talking, hands-free, it's writing the code. So we've got a hero section, quality roofing solutions, get a free quote, our services. Oh, it's pulled up a nice image. I'm assuming that's from a stock image library. It's got a few images. Now these images, I guess I would need to change here because I'm in the UK and that's quite an American looking house, but obviously depending on the, the topic and subject, it may pull out images that are perfect for you. So it's finished, it's completed the site. So, so far, let's just recap. I've just given it a URL and that was it. That's, I didn't give it any instructions or any information. And from that one URL, it's realized that I want a roofing based website and it's assumed I'm doing it for Bristol Roofing Co. And this is it. So here's the site. So we've got a nice picture at the front. We've got the services, roof repairs, new roof installation, roof maintenance. Why choose? What our customers say? I checked. I don't think these are from the site. I think it's made these up, which a lot of AI website builders do unless you very explicitly give them testimonial information. FAQs. And it's used a blue color scheme. So if we call now, get a free quote. Do these work? Uh, I don't think these are working in this preview mode. Let's check it out on mobile. Yeah, that's working okay. So now we can actually preview the site live. So it looks like the buttons aren't working at the moment from the first pass, but everything else seems okay. And it's put a footer. So that's, that's only from that single um, URL. So now let's have a quick think. What, what might we want to edit? Well, let's, let's put it into, um, red like the other one change the in fact i don't think i need to prompt that do i let's have a look what's this button here we go i just realized we've got color palette so let's change it to sunset okay so color palette sunset and then it's putting the colors in so this is how you can control the colors if you wanted a range of them no they've got quite a few good color palettes in 
earthy red. Let's go with earthy red. So that's basically that color palette section is just like a little shortcut. So let's pop that in. So that's again, that is as soon as you as soon as you enter it, that's deducted a prompt. Sometimes get away with giving them very long prompts to kind of maximize your uh, credits. But sometimes a longer prompt I've found in these things can cause problems as it's trying to do too much at once. But it looks like with 80 prompts a month, you'd be able to get through a couple of websites with changes because obviously it's done quite a lot in that first that first one. And now it's just about adding these little elements, you know, making sure it's linked to the right Facebook and Twitter account, uh, maybe adding a privacy policy. We don't have a privacy policy at the bottom, do we? So it's updated the color palette. Some of the color palette looks like it still needs to do a little bit of work. But yeah, that's mostly done. So yeah, there'd be a little bit of tidying up to do now. This button here, I think edit elements. Yeah, there we go. So if we click on that. We can select the element. So if we said this element here, does that mean we can add a little bit of padding? Yes, it does. So there you go. So you don't have to use AI for everything. You can say I can uh, edit the padding. We've also got the content here. So if you wanted to edit the text, you don't have to use AI for that. You can change the alignment. Can we change the color on this one? BG blue, so let's have a look. This one is, let's just take all of that. There we go. So that's the background done. And then I would just need to, so I'm doing this without having to use any AI credits, which is good because sometimes some tools I've tried, I've been a bit annoying and, and they kind of lock you into using AI for everything. So it's good to just be able to tidy up some of this um, without having to do that. So this one's a little bit more challenging because I'm asking it to add a page and create a full privacy policy. So let's see if it can do that. I've then asked it to include a link to the privacy policy page in the footer. Now, the next thing you're gonna to want to do once you've done all the tidying up is exporting it so we can export the entire page or select so we want the entire page page builder so this works with elemental gutenberg webflow bricks breakdance figma so if i select gutenberg for a test site click here to download and install a plugin so while it's still doing that i'm going to download the plugin so that's wordpress plugin installed so we come back over here let's have a little look what's going on so what i like is you get the message back so i'll help add a privacy policy so let's add the policy page let's update the footer so let's check this out let's just close that for a second so privacy policy is there so this is interesting this seems to only do single pages because it's added the privacy policy here now i don't know if that's presumably i would need to add oh it's there it's at the top it's my fault look at that so at the top here i've made a mistake here because in other other ai platforms when i tell it to make a page it goes away and makes the actual page whereas here i have to add a new page and then i would have to um get the privacy policy in now it doesn't look like there's a undo button so i guess i just have to delete that Okay, well, that, that's cool. We've all learned something <laughs> something today. Make sure to check the top section here first. So as I was saying before, I've installed the plugin. I want to use Gutenberg and I've downloaded that. And then we say export. So I'm just on just a, a WordPress site at the moment. Now I'm using just a Gutenberg theme. I suspect we might get a better result if I used Elemental, but let's just try this. Just paste this in. And there we go, it's, it's pasted the whole lot in, including, yes, the privacy policy down the bottom. Now, are these, yes, they're set up, so they're blocked, so I can delete that. Uh, well, I'd probably put it on a different page, but there we go, delete that. So this time I'm doing the entire page. I'm going to go to Elementor. So I've got to download and install, done that. Flexbox container installation is mandatory. Right click, Elemental Edit, choose Paste from Other Site. Okay, so it's a slightly different setup. Elemental Settings Features, Container Default. So let's say Active, I believe that's what it wants. And we'll click, now we say Export, go here, and we say 
paste from other site. Let's paste control V. Oh, here we go. Oh, now that's looking much better, isn't it? It's got the proper width on it. So if you're going to use this, Elemental looks like the way to go. Now, it looks like I need to do a little bit more understanding on how to get the icons and images in. And in fact, it says here, automatically upload images, icons to your server, learn more. So that's something I need to look into. Oh no, it's got a HTML code. No, it's come in now. All the pictures have come in. Is that? Yeah, there we go. Images unsplash. So that's what's happened there. It's now pulled in the images from, but it's it's they're being hosted elsewhere. So you want to upload these to your own site, uh, otherwise it's going to have slow loading speed. So that's pretty good. And so we did that one page. And I know I made a mistake, but we did that one page with like three prompts. So let's now try. Instead of giving it a reference site, let's try something from scratch. But this time I'm going to use AI to help me write the prompt. I've asked Perplexity to act as an SEO expert, research the content Google likes, websites to have for the search term Roof of Bristol, then create a oh, detailed, should have been detailed AI prompt. I can give an AI site builder to create the perfect high converting Google friendly landing page for a company called Best Bristol Roofers. And I've just said to include made up contact details because it's obviously not a real company. Here we go. Prompt is all in there. And away we go. So this time I've not given it any reference material. I've simply given it that detailed prompt to go off. Let's see what it comes up with. I didn't, so I just grabbed the prompt. I haven't gone through and checked to see how the structure is. So we're about to find out. So it's come up with the best Bristol roofers. It's got the phone number that Perplexity's made up. It's got the request to call back, which is good. He's starting off with the big banner at the top, free survey, instant quote. So this one took a little bit longer. It was quite a long prompt. So we're down to 76 prompts remaining and you know, I've, I've already done two websites, so it looks like you can get a lot of, a lot of value out of these prompts. So here it is. This is all from an AI prompt. So we've got the wrong kind of images, but that's okay. Just treat that as a placeholder. It's added some stars. It's added testimonials. I'm assuming they're going to be made up again because it's a made up company. We've got the services. We've the we're the specialist. This looks really good. Clifton, Bedminster, yeah. We've got a call to action and the form. Oh, we've got a Google Map Embedded, that's good. We've got the address and the contact details. And then we've got the FAQs. Now, that to me is better than actually when I, the, the first one I did. I, I much prefer this one. And again, I would export that, bang that into WordPress. And so you could very quickly, if you got all your client details, you could very quickly spin up a, a great looking website for them, put it into WordPress and finish it off there with any extra details, you know, swap out the images, Make sure the contact form is, uh, you might need to replace this contact form with, you know, a plug-in contact form and get that all up and running. That would take out a lot of the time it would normally take to put together a simple site like this. So one of the advantages of this particular platform is that because you're exporting it, you put it onto your WordPress site. If something should happen to them, it doesn't matter. You still got all the websites you have created. Now, if you're interested in learning more about this, I will put an affiliate link down below. 